Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I thought I'd share with you guys a tutorial on how you can create waving hair animations using KaiMaster, specifically utilizing frame by frame image manipulation. But before we jump right into it, make sure to like and subscribe to get more Android tips, tricks and customization videos. So, for this tutorial, you're going to need to grab PixArt to create the image layers, iBest Paint for the individual frames, and KaiMaster to stitch them all together, all of which are linked in the description below. So for this example, I'm going to be using this elaborate Gogeta artwork to give you guys a step-by-step -step overview of how you can bring your character's hair to life by using frames. So let's start by separating our image into sections. Specifically, we're going to be breaking down the hair into multiple pieces. For this, we're going to be using PixArt's draw function. This is going to allow us to erase all of the unneeded parts of the image. So here, we're going to separate the front part of the hair for animation. So simply use the eraser tool to remove everything apart from that hair strand. And for the best results, to get into the tight corners, try using different size erasers. Once done, make sure to save it and let's head into iBest Paint. Here, we're going to load in our newly created snippet and using the app, we're going to warp and reshape it. For this, just head into the layers, then the move layer option and use the mesh form feature. This will add a grid to your image with movable points, which you can adjust with the division X and Y sliders. More points means more micro adjustments can be made. Now as you can tell, currently the grid is being applied to most of the canvas, not just that select part of the image. So to fix this, let's head into the canvas option and trim it down so it's only the hair remaining. Once done, when you head back into the mesh form option, you should see something that looks like this. Now using iBest Paint, let's start creating some frames. For this, just simply start by copying the image into a new layer and then slightly adjusting the mesh. Now simply repeat for as many frames as you want. Just bear in mind, the more frames you have between your starting and ending positions, the smoother your animations will be. And don't worry, you only need to create the frames one way, because to loop it, we're simply going to load in the same frames, but in reverse. But bear in mind, this means that the longer you're looking to make your animation clip, the more frames that you'll need. Personally, I try and keep my movements as short as possible, but with a high number of frames. So as you're making them, just remember to be patient. And as a final note, when you're saving each frame, remember to firstly disable the other layers and save them as I'm showing here from on the main screen as a transparent PNG. Now that that's done, let's head into KaiMaster. Here, let's start by first adding in a green backdrop and then loading in all of our frames. For this example, I've created 8 different frames using iBest Paint. Now by tapping on each one and using their handles, let's shorten them to 0.2 seconds. Once done, let's complete the loop. For this, we're going to copy the same frames but place them in reverse order after the last frame. I highly recommend you guys do this one frame at a time as Kai Master does love to jump around and sometimes shuffle your frames into other layers. Now let's render it and see how it looks. Feel free to play around with the frame durations until you find something that's right for you and the number of frames that you're using. Now before we place this animated hair strand back onto our character, we have to first remove the same piece of hair from the image. Otherwise, it's just going to end up looking a bit odd. So for this, let's head back to PixArt and using the cloning tool, let's erase that same hair strand that we just animated. So just bear in mind, as you're animating each different piece of hair, you need to think about what is visible behind it. So as they move, what will fill that empty space? As an example, if we animate this strand here, when it moves, the forehead behind should be visible. For this, just simply use the cloning tool to extend the colors and lines, removing that hair strand itself from the base image. So once you're done, just load in your edited character base image back into KaiMaster and add in your animated hair green screens. 
Now all that's left is to adjust the size, positioning and using the chroma key option to remove that green backdrop. Finally, just repeat these steps for the remaining hair strands to finish off your animation. Keep in mind that with a low number of frames, your animation is going to look like it's skipping. So I highly recommend you keep your movement short but with a high number of frames. Depending on how many pieces you're looking to animate, this process can take a while. Personally, for my wallpapers, I spend a good few hours just with hair animation. So just remember to be patient and take your time. And as a bonus tip, if you want to make your animations even more fluid, try reloading your final product back into KaiMaster and increasing its speed. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.